Hi, I'm Margie Holmes, psychologist, author, and educator. Because of all we're discovering about Napoles and the PIDAF scandal, betrayal was on everybody's mind. So when I first announced this topic, I got a flurry of responses. I asked, what makes a betrayal a betrayal? Here's what you said. Kuya Blue, the betrayal is defined as an act of deliberate disloyalty. Whether it's on Facebook or Twitter, kapag ang nakaraan mo, binuhay mo, and you involve yourself, that's dishonesty and betrayal for your partner. Saan ba nagsimula ang relasyon? Di ba? Sa pakikipag-usap, then text-text, then Skype. Kaya nga maraming pamilya ang naghiwalay dahil sa paggamit ng Facebook. Some humans are weak when it comes to the flesh. Maureen Jean Lara, betrayal starts from the mind and heart. The act of actually betraying your partners is just the last straw. Betrayal starts when one starts to think of interacting with another with the purpose of something more than just a platonic relationship. That's why I find it difficult to accept the reason that it just happened. Nothing happens when you didn't do anything to begin with. If I may be forgiven for making a political analogy, that is why to say that your uh, signatures were forged or yet that you never thought about this, it's a little difficult to believe given that there are so many pictures of you together and the fact that whatever it was, your PDAF was used instead of helping people, was used to go into the coffers of Napolis and maybe you. We don't know, right? Anyway, Joe Joy Serrano, betrayal always has something to do with guilt. The moment you feel guilty about conversing with an ex, nandun yung betrayal. Naramdaman mo na may mali kang ginawa eh. Bill Colburn asks, does a betrayal have to be as big as a partner having an affair with another or simply having conversations with a former sweetheart just found on social media? Many of you were kind enough to answer him. Elia Quintanar, emotional adultery is harder to take than physical adultery. Sex is just sex, but to get emotionally involved with an ex-flame or even a new person is a far more serious offense. Bert Kibuyan, a betrayal is a betrayal, whether big or small, uh, is a betrayal nonetheless. Remember Bill Clinton? He claimed there was no sex between him and Monica Lewinsky. Making out, fellatio, canilingus, they're all sex as far as I'm concerned. Sex is not just actual intercourse. Sherry Lindsay, my husband still talks to his old girlfriends and it doesn't bother me one bit. He tells me about it all the time. I don't feel threatened at all, nor do I feel like, oh, he's going to hook up with them again. I guess he makes me feel secure with his honesty. I don't feel betrayed because when he talks to his exes then. To, Bert, to which Bert replies, Sherilyn, I like your confidence and feeling of security, but did you know that exes are an easy way to get laid? Since both parties already know each other and are familiar with each other intimately, having casual sex is quite easy and convenient. That is, if the separation is amicable. And Sherilyn replies, Bert, I talk to my exes too. I guess it's just the kind of relationship that I have with my husband. We don't mind this. Every time he talks to his exes, he shares that he feels grateful that he's dodged a bullet because his exes lead very messy lives. Finally, Aida Santos defines betrayal as Napoles, legislators, bureaucrats. Naku, agree ako sa iyo, Aida. Nakakagigil, ano? Anonymous asked this question. When my partner and I broke up, I brought up the name of a girl who was the reason why we broke up the first time. After six months, siya ulit yung reason, although ayaw niyang aminin. Tapos, bigla na lang siya nagalit at hindi na ako kinausap. Does that mean guilty siya? What's even worse is that he will get angry at you even if he's the one at fault. Nako, we know so much about this, Anonymous. Now, for myself, it does not necessarily mean he's guilty, although there are some people na inuunahan ka lang, what psychologists would call projection. Projection is a defense mechanism where one accuses or suspects another of doing or planning something simply because that is what you yourself are planning to do. 
Well, that's it for today. Join in the discussion by commenting below. Send me your questions on Facebook, tweet using the hashtag AskMargie, or send an email to askmargie at rappler.com. See you next week. Thank you.